Hey everyone, I figured I'd do a quick video before I get too involved on what I'm working on. As you can see, I got a hole in the roof of my RV right now. Formerly, there was an air conditioner there. This air conditioner right here. This is a uh, functioning um, heat pump. I believe it might be a swamp cooler type air conditioner. And the back one here does not function. So I'm swapping the two and that front hole is going to get filled in 100%. So I got this one out already. Relatively easy to get these out. This one was four bolts that came up from the inside plate and you remove that. Uh, and then you basically come up here and all it's really sealed down by is this spot, this area right here. Uh, this is where it penetrates into the actual RV. The rest of this here is outside. This, this stuff here is all good still. I'm gonna have to uh, carefully peel that sealing off and go around the other hole. I think this air conditioner was an afterthought because that hole is kind of jagged and just really does not look very professional. But on the other hand, this one right here looks more original. So I think it may have died originally and they didn't want to take it out for some reason. But I checked them from the inside. They both seem to be the same size and I'm, I'm doing it. Um, I'm halfway done. I'm just working on getting the second unit out and go from there. I might end up taking that TV antenna off as well. The solar panels probably stain, um, but I don't really want any more penetrations in the roof if I can avoid it. I already have stuff to fill in the hole at the front, so we'll see about the back one. But the, as you can see, there's definitely uh, been water sitting right there. This one's not leaking. I believe the front one was leaking, but this back one definitely was not leaking. So I'm hoping I won't make it leak by doing this. But just figured to do a quick video on what I'm up to. Really easy to do. And uh, that's pretty much it. So talk to me later. Please keep it redneck, please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment.